Well, making it, just not spending it to market watcher Larry Glazer, who sees nothing changing it. First off, Larry, explain what just happened uh, that you found so telling. Sure. When we look at today's data, we see that despite that increase in income, we're seeing spending flat. And that's part of a trend that we've been seeing over the past few months, a very sluggish spending. And why? Because the consumer is saving more money. They're saving more, Neil, because they're not feeling the enthusiasm. Despite the stock market at all-time highs, Main Street's not sharing in that today. And as a result, the consumer's doing what the consumer should do. They're reining in their spending. They're squirreling away their nuts for the rainy day, and they are cutting back. And because of that, the consumer is they're, they're reducing their spending, they're holding back, and they're being more conservative in their outlook. The, the history suggests that the summertime they open up that wallet a little bit more. And that that will <laughs> right. and that this will be the sure. time to do that. What do you think? Sure. You know, Neil, economists are quick to point out a whole host of issues to explain why this might be happening. They blame the West Coast port issues. They blame tough winter weather. I say a lot of that is nonsense. Really, the consumer is less confident about their outlook. Everywhere they go, every time they turn around, there's another handout, whether it's for more taxes, higher education costs, higher health care costs, and their pockets are empty. And as a result, they realize they need to take personal responsibility here. You know, Washington could learn a thing or two from the actions of the consumer here, and that is doing the right thing by cutting back on their spending, repairing their own personal balance sheet, and reducing that spending. And what's interesting here is Washington gets nervous when the consumer starts to save more money because the consumer is two-thirds of the U.S. economy. So if too many consumers decide they're going to save more money, which is exactly what they're doing, then actually it could become self-fulfilling and slow the economy. The way to reverse that trend is to grow the overall economy so that the consumer feels more confident about their prospects for the future. And that's something that's been missing in this whole equation. And it's really tragic. You know, Larry, um, June is a problematic month for the markets generally. Not yep. all the time, but a lot sure. of the time. Then again, May was supposed yep. to be that way, too. And we still ended right. up up on the month as a whole. So what do you think about that's June? Right. What do you think about this summer, how it looks? You know, much has been said about sort of this June swoon or sort of the summer slowdown. And I think at the end of the day, the stock market's actually fairly logical and the market will track earnings. And earnings have been pretty sluggish right now. If earnings can improve and companies can show a way to grow their business, the stock market will, will move higher. Right now, it's really a show me story. And so far, earnings have been challenging. Look, the consumer reads the paper. They know that in the first quarter, the economy didn't grow at all. It was completely flat. So I think it, it, the onus is on demonstrating that there is some growth and showing that companies can hire, showing that there's some middle-class wage increase. All those things have been missing. Clearly, we have challenges. The market will be logical. It really will track earnings, but the earnings just aren't there right now. Interesting. Larry Glazer, thank you very much, my friend. Good seeing you.